Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Zephyr Vlog. Brought to you through the power of the internet, and straight from Korea, and semi-live. It is about... It will be released about an hour from now. And people are messaging me left and right, and I can't respond because I'm doing the recording. Anyway, this last week was interesting. Finished the exams, and... Had a little incident at school where the one kid, he suffers from aggression aggression problems. And we're busy working on that. But I can't go too much into detail because it was really like a horrible episode. Um, if you watch my Twitch channel, I've talked about it a bit. And <clears throat> everything is working out for the better, if you will, if you believe me, if you will believe me. But yeah, this weekend was amazing. Played some Unreal Tournament with the friend with the viewers on Twitch. My parents are in Namibia. I'm so jealous of them. They're in Namibia for a whole month. So that's a thing. So I haven't been Skyping them for the last two weeks. And it is interesting how the how not talking to your family regularly actually influences your state of mind because last night was the second Sunday that I didn't speak to them and I couldn't sleep at all it was really really bad I probably fell asleep at like four or five o'clock in the morning and I woke up at eight so just to give you an inclination of how that worked and other than that twitch channel is going brilliantly I'm enjoying enjoying vampire the masquerade bloodlines and I think I might be starting Fallout this week. L let's just wait for a couple of more mods to come out. <laughs> My kids are well. My We did start taking... Not preventative measures, but we did start taking measures with regards to the one class that's a bit unruly and the one kid that's in that class that's a bit unruly. So unfortunately for those... For, for those two classes or those two grades they are going to have a pretty boring English lessons or they're going to have a pretty boring they're going to have pretty boring English lessons from me for at least the next month or two until because we've spoken to them they know what they did wrong and we're sorting them out and everybody agreed the whole school agreed that some of their privileges were taken away because usually they would have like a snack party once a month from their other teachers from their homeroom teachers and everything that's been taken away candy has been taken away from the kids it is a lesson for them we try this is i'm just following school rules but this is preventative maintenance or preventative measures if you can call it that so at the end of this month we'll see how things go and then probably they have earned their reward system back but other than that my the kids are well i'm already i'm already like dreading the letters i'm going to write within the next week or two the farewell letters to my grade sixes that's a thing it's a tough time of year but yeah other than that everything's going well i'm not going to talk about the crap that happened on friday you know what it is and because it's crap and basically this time this time of year is time for nostalgia this is when nostalgia creeps in on me so what gives you nostalgia what are you nostalgic about? That's the key word for this week. What are you nostalgic about? What what gets you nostalgic? Uh, what do you think of when you think of the word nostalgia? And that's basically that. It's rainy and windy here in South Korea, which is quite amazing. I love the rain and everything. Hopefully we get to see snow soon. That's it. And yeah, nostalgia. Use that key word down below. And until... Next time, you should have a good one.